Like and subscribe now, or you're gonna have bad luck this week. <laughs> Ever since humans have learned to domesticate animals during the Stone Age, we have kept them as loyal companions and helpers. Strong human and animal bonds have a mutually beneficial and dynamic relationship between the people and the animals, improving the health and well-being of both. From wolves to big cats, here are 10 incredible relationships between animals and humans that will melt your heart. Number 10. Sean Ellis Let's start with the person known as the Man Among Wolves. Sean Ellis has been a controversial individual since National Geographic did a story on his life. It's fascinating to see how a human managed to live among wolves. Some people believe that Sean Ellis isn't right in the head. Others believe he's just an eccentric and a show-off. A few admire him and think his life is inspirational and poetic, a true glorification of the instinctive friendship between humans and their environment. He's the only known human adult that willingly left to live with wolves and became part of their community. In fact, to the wolves, he's their alpha male. Many scientists, especially biologists, have questioned Mr. Ellis's experience because many scientists, especially biologists, have questioned Mr. Ellis's experience because he wasn't part of any research effort. Simply put, he loves animals and wanted to become a part of their lives to get to know them better. He lived like a wolf, eating raw meat, howling, and fighting for 18 months. When he returned, it wasn't easy for him. Seven months passed until he felt comfortable again among his own species. Later on, he published a book about the wolf's language. He also started raising wolves. How do you raise wolves? He actually used the experience he learned during his stay in the forest. Now, this is some story. Number 9. Janice Haley Tigers are fearsome jungle cats that are near universal symbols of ferocity, strength, and courage. But 57-year-old Janice Haley from Orlando, Florida has a different perspective on the matter. To her, these dangerous animals are also cuddly kittens. When you see her play with her exotic pets 400-pound Bengal tiger Janda and 600-pound white Bengal tiger Saber, you'll understand why. They're about as loving and playful as any tiny domestic cousin cat. It all started in 1995 when Haley decided to quit her tedious desk job and start working with exotic cats at her husband's advice. Since then, she has had quite a few different big cats and plenty of volunteers to help take care of them and play with them as well. They are fed three times from 1 p.m. to 11 p.m. And the 60 foot by 40 foot enclosure needs to be cleaned several times a day. Janice says, we have to travel an hour north for Janda's horse meat once a week and an hour south for Saber's beef. Tigers are pretty high maintenance, aren't they? Number 8. Fricky Von Solm It goes without saying that you should be careful around lions and other wild animals, but that doesn't mean that they are unfeeling, cold-blooded killers. Frankie Von Somme, a 73-year-old caretaker of feral cats in southern Africa, knows this perfectly well. He has spent the last 17 years raising Zion, a gentle, tender, and loving African lion. Zion was born in captivity to a lioness named Simba, but had to be separated due to fears that his father would kill him. Growing up with Von Solms, Zion was turned into a bit of a softie, and when Von Solms goes for a walk with him, he takes his shoes off because their noise bothers the big cat. The two have become best friends and will be there for each other for the rest of their lives. You won't believe this, but the two are so close that they share a truck and a bed. Frankie says he has raised 19 lions, tigers, and cheetahs, but says that Zion is special because of the bond they share. He learned so much from him. Aw, oh, isn't that so cute? Could you pull off a friendship with a lion? Number 7. Tippy Degree Until 2017, for us, Mowgli was just limited to kids' storybooks. But today, we have a real-life example of a girl named Tippy Degree, known, for real life, known as Real Life Mowgli. Born in Africa to French wildlife photographer parents, Tippy Degree had a most unusual childhood. The young girl grew up in an African desert. She developed an uncommon bond with many untamed animals, including a 28-year-old African elephant named Abu, lion cubs, giraffes, and ostrich, a mongoose, crocodiles, a baby zebra, a cheetah, giant bullfrogs, and even a snake. 
For many years, Africa was her home, and Tippi became friends with the ferocious animals and tribes people of Namibia. As a young child, the French girl said, I don't have friends here because I never see children, so the animals are my friends. Parents Elaine de Grey and Sylvie Robert documented Tippi's life and relationships with the African wildlife and transformed those moments into captive books and movies. Tippi of Africa, published in 1998, told Tippi's story of her parents and Tippi's close bond with wild animals made her quite famous. She is now 30 years old and has a degree in cinema. Number 6. Being reasonable parents, you'd expect rice farmer Kun Samol and his wife not to keep a 16-foot-long, 220-pound python snake and play with it. Yet, they are unflustered that their 7-year-old son, Orn Sabath, regularly sleeps in the massive coil of the female python, rides the reptile, kisses it, and even pats it down with baby powder. Yes, you heard that right. The boy and his snake have become a tourist attraction in Setbo Village, about 12 miles south of the capital Phum Pen, and a source of wonder to the locals. Yorn and his snake grew up together ever since the python slithered into the family home when Yorn Sabbath was three months old. His 39-year-old mother, Kim Kanara, discovered the reptile about the size of a thumb at the time, coiled beneath a woven mat on their bed. The snake kept coming back and was allowed to stay in the house, and the rest is history. Number 5. Coco the Gorilla we have to include Coco in our list in the memory of this amazing creature. Coco, the western lowland gorilla, was renowned for her emotional depth and ability to communicate in sign language. She became an international celebrity during the course of her life, with a vocabulary of more than 1,000 signs and the ability to understand 2,000 words of spoken English. Coco became the most visible member of her species, the western lowland gorilla, that is considered critically endangered by the International Union for Conservation of Nature. Born in July 4, 1971, at the San Francisco Zoo, Coco was originally named Hanabi Ko, which translates to firework child in Japanese, a reference to her birthday falling on the 4th of July. When Coco was about one year old, she started learning sign language. She was part of a lot of research and was loved by everyone. Coco and Robin Williams were great friends, and when he died, the news made her very sad. Coco herself died in 2008 at the age of 46. Number 4. A Grateful Penguin It's illegal for you to keep wild animals as pets in Brazil, but despite what the law may say, Dindim comes to live with his best friend whom he met on the beaches of Brazil. Every year since 2011, 71-year-old fisherman Joe Pierre de Souza found Dindim, a South American Medjolanic penguin covered in oil and close to death. De Souza nursed him back to health, which eventually blossomed into an 11-month-long friendship. Dindim eventually left, but he returned the following June and has been visiting every year, traveling 5,000 miles just for the annual ritual. The fascinating thing about the whole friendship is the length of the journey Dindim makes just to meet his rescuer. No one else is allowed to touch the penguin either. He pecks them if they do, but Dindim lays in his lap and even lets him give him showers. Isn't that adorable? Number 3. Bambi Lookalike Who could resist a real-life Bambi story? Well, not this woman who rescued this deer when she was just a baby like Bambi. Deer are still hunted and shot by men, but this one was lucky enough to find a friendly human who went out of her way to care for her rather than hunting or hurting her. And she is aware of how rare it is to find such a kind human. So she makes it her business to come back once in a while and pay a visit to her to say thanks for all the help. She gets to run around the kitchen and drink a bottle of milk, which is a great deal for this deer, who then runs happily towards her habitat, the forest, with her friends. Number 2. Jim and Jimbo Jimbo the bear lived a fascinating life. Jim and Susan Kowalsnik founded the Orphan Wildlife Center in Otisville, New York and kept the cub in their sanctuary. When they found Jimbo in captivity, he was injured. This meant the animal could never be returned to the wild, so the Kowalsniks kept him. Jimbo wasn't lonely as they lived with 11 other bears at the sanctuary, but some of the animals had survived collisions with cars, others had become orphans when their mothers were killed. Jimbo built a strong bond with the family and planned to never return to the wild 
In fact, he stayed with them for 20 years. As it turns out, bears need love too. Sadly, in 2018, Jimbo passed away due to an unknown disease. Number 1. Christian a lion named Christian was on sale at the Hordes department store in London and was bought by an Australian couple named Ace Burke and John Randall. The couple bought it for $250, cared for him, and kept them in their furniture store in London. They took the lion for a walk regularly at the church graveyard and played with it at the nearby seaside. As the lion grew, they realized that it was getting too big for the city life, so they flew to Kenya and released him back into the wild. After seven years, they went back to Kenya to check up on him and see how he was doing, and by then Christian had become the head of his pride and they were warned not to go out looking for him. But as it turned out, this was the lovely reaction they received, and the lion had never forgotten the people who raised him so affectionately. Which one of these stories did you find the most fascinating? Let us know in the comments, and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.